there. You're in the studio here at Davis Media Access. My name's Autumn Labbe Renault, and I'll be your host today. I'm talking with some friends from the Davis Arts Alliance, and we're going to be talking about uh, a fun event called Art After Dark. Let me tell you a bit about In the Studio first. It's a magazine-style show we do here at Davis Media Access. It serves two purposes. We highlight events and newsmakers here in town, and we use this as a training opportunity to train our volunteers who come through the studio program. You can watch in the studio on DCTV, Channel 15, Comcast in Davis, and Menu 99, AT&T, AT UVerse. And of course, we also put all of our programs online at dctv.davismedia.org. They pop up in YouTube. You can share them, and we hope you'll help us spread the word about what we do here. All right, so my guest today, I'd like to welcome our Timothy Nutter, who's the Artistic Director of the Art Theater of Davis, and Natalie Nelson, who is the Executive Director of the Pence Gallery. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you so you. much for having us. It's fun to be sitting with you here because just last week we were gathered with a lot of other arts organizations in the studio here for a meeting of the Davis Arts Alliance. And uh, Davis Media Access is relatively new to this process, and I thank you for the invitation. So let, let's start there. What's the Arts Alliance and how is it bringing folks like us together? Sure. Um, the Arts Alliance is a loose collaboration of individuals from different arts organizations. It's also individual artists and it's people from the business community and the visitor center. It's all sorts of people from different walks of life with the idea that they want to support the arts in Davis. Right. Um, so they see it as not only a marketing opportunity, but a place for collaboration with each other, a place to strengthen the arts in our community. Um, so we're really hoping to reach out to a lot of different people. Um, mm -hmm. If people are interested, they can certainly get a hold of me through the Pence. Right. Um, and we're really trying to support each other in different ways. There's a lot of people on the list. We have over 50 people who are signed up. Right. Well, it's working. We're here. We're collaborating. <laughs> we're here. That's so it's true. T Timothy, how did you um, get involved with the, with the Arts Alliance? And then we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Art Theater of Davis, too. Uh, well, I was told about a meeting which was at a museum on campus mm -hmm. and uh, that's uh, how I got started and I just uh, started talking at meetings with some of the groups that are involved. Uh, Yolo County Arts Council, mm -hmm. I met them there who is now the fiscal sponsor of my theater group. Oh nice. Um, and also met Natalie Nelson who uh, runs the Pence Gallery and now we're working on a collaborative project together. So I think you know the idea of bringing groups together and and uh, inspiring collaboration and um, sharing is already working. Yeah. Yeah, I think, so I think it's really easy as nonprofits and as art space groups that we can kind of work in a vacuum. We get so wrapped up in what we're doing. So from my perspective, it was really nice to sit around a table with, uh, I think there were about 15 of us there, yeah. and hear about a lot of things that were going on and several which I didn't even know about. So Absolutely. I think we share a lot of common concerns and it's really building on each other's strengths. And there's some larger organizations there from campus. There's mm -hmm. some really tiny organizations that are all volunteer driven, um, but they all really have a passion um, for the arts. And it's, it's been a really interesting place for me to hear about different concerns too. What are people working on? What do they want to, what do they need help on? Right. So what we're really going to talk about today is this new project called Art After Dark. And I wanted to tell you, when I was a teenager, I remember reading a book that described an art happening. And when I saw your flyer, it reminded me of that, this place where people come together and things happen that maybe don't happen, you know, ordinarily downtown on a Friday night. Right. So let's, let's start there. What is Art after Dark? Well, we do like the idea of, of happenings in that it is an event. Um, art After Dark was designed to be a series of art happenings, mm -hmm. which take place the first Friday of every month. And it's basically, it started in September, it goes through July, and it's from seven to 10 at night. Mm -hmm. And the idea is the Pence was dark for you know every night except for one. And I thought, you know, this is really sad. There's so many great people out downtown enjoying themselves. Right. And both of us had talked about, you know, bringing more people into our organizations, really having people from different walks of life see what we do. And we do our second Friday Art About, but that's a slightly different crowd. We wanted to bring in people who weren't necessarily arts people, yeah. younger people in particular, um, to really build up that next generation of, of arts patrons and arts lovers. Right. 
So I saw the last time I saw you, you were promoting the, the one that happened a couple of weeks ago. Right. Tell us a little bit about sure. what, what that contained. That's a great one to talk about because Timothy's group was also there okay. doing a preview of their performance. Okay. Um, and it was wonderful because not only did we have a selection from the Art Theater of Davis of Moliere's The Impromptu, mm -hmm. we also had, and it was only 10 minutes long, we also had interactive art activities you could do. We had tattoo art. Um, we had a whole tattoo section um, that was set up, and you could put on temporary tattoos. We had art activities upstairs with Explore It. They were doing something with feathers. We had live music at 9. Um, we had a graffiti. bartender. I forgot about our graffiti wall. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. We had some people who just stay there the whole night filling out a graffiti wall. <laughs> so we try to do things on themes, and the theme was Americana. Right. So we had kind of classic cocktails. We had classic foods. Um, and it, it was really fun. It was fun. Yeah, I think your actors yeah. had a good time, too. And Moliere. <laughs> and and that may not be Americana, but it, it was great. People really enjoyed it, and right. we filled every seat, and we had to bring some more seats out for people. That's pretty cool. Tell us about the performance, what your actors did. So what we're um, working on with the Pence is, as part of the Art After Dark series, is a theater show uh, in late October. So it's called The Impromptu at Versailles, and it's a one-act comedy by the French playwright Moliere, who many people know through his longer plays like Tartuffe mm -hmm. or The Bourgeois Gentilhomme, and his large um, four-act uh, comedies uh, where he makes fun of people's exaggerated vices, like being overly avaricious mm -hmm. or overly sanctimonious and so on. So um, the story of this play is kind of intriguing, actually. Um, at the time, there were two rival theater groups in Paris, and they were each sort of had their own idea about the way theater should be done both like the kind of play and the way the acting should be done. Um, Moliere and his group had a more realistic and comedic acting style, and the other group favored tragedies and a more exaggerated hmm. style, right? And actually, Moliere was a big fan of tragedy and that acting style too, but he didn't do it very well. Hmm. And so he ended up moving more towards this realistic style as well as basically inventing musical theater mm -hmm. uh, with um, composers and other artists of the time. So this play is one of a series of plays that he wrote arguing for his style and pillorying basically the alternative style. Mm -hmm. And the other side was Right, right up against it. It was like a boxing match. They wrote play after play, uh, attacking the other side and saying, "No, you must act this way. No, you must act this way." So sounds a bit like is. politics. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, there's a lot of overlap there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Art Theater of Davis was uh, founded when, and how can we find out more about you besides what you're doing with um, Art After Dark? Well, we started in. Uh, late 2013 and um, our website is a great way to find out more about us mm -hmm. which is arttheater.org a-r-t-t-h-e-a-t-e-r dot -E -E org okay. and um, so we're a volunteer uh, community group that produces great works of drama from the past mm -hmm. Um, usually an original translation. And uh, so there are lots of great theater groups around here, but I think one um, aspect of our group that sets us apart is that our repertoire. Mm -hmm. you know, when I started the group, I wanted to pick a repertoire that uh, was distinct from what other groups were doing. Uh, so we have DMTC doing great musical theater. Right. Willow Opera House also does musical theater. Um, you have the Davis Shakespeare Ensemble, which is also focused on um, classics, but mostly Shakespeare, and they've also been producing musicals. Uh, you have Winter's Theatre Company. They also do musicals and comedies. So I thought there was an opportunity to focus on serious works from mm -hmm. the past. A serious, when I say that, I mean not just tragedies or plays that end with people dying, but... Um, <laughs> Plays that are written to be 
a work of art mm -hmm. and presenting the work as such. And to me, that is the one way which I try to lead the art theater is saying, look, there are many values that are important to any complicated enterprise right. of this sort. But here we really try to put art at the top and uh, let everything else fall where it may. Nice. So arttheater.org, and it's theater with an E-R, not an mm -hmm. R-E. And, um, and you have other shows coming up this year. Do you want to talk about what's, what's on the near horizon? We do, yeah. Um, I mean, we don't have anything definite planned because, uh, like many theater groups, uh, we face the challenge of not having a permanent home. Mm. And mm. renting space in Davis, as we all know, yes. can run into money. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we're hoping to produce uh, more plays in the spring, uh, one of which we've been working on the translation of is a Chekhov play. Mm -hmm. So Anton Chekhov, the celebrated Russian writer, his uh, first uh, successful work, The Seagull, uh, is one work we're hoping to produce in the spring. Great. Well, you'll keep me posted, and then okay. I'll keep our viewers posted. How about that? And we'll bring you back again, too, Great. when you've got something going on. Let's talk, though, about the uh, the next Art After Dark that's coming up November sure. 4th. Absolutely. What can we look forward to? Um, Art After Dark for November 4th from 7 to 10 p.m. is titled Illusion. And so we have different optical illusions in terms of art things you can make. We have a little mirrored room that you're going to be able to walk into so you can see yourself in infinity. We have some things with Explore we're, we're sharing, um, so all about the science of perception. And then we have two bands. I can't announce their names yet because we're still confirming <laughs> details who are going to oh, be performing. Oh, I understand that. Trust me. <laughs> uh, yes. And my favorite is there's a wonderful painter in our forgery show, which is um, a group exhibit of painters who've done copies of famous masterworks from art history. I have history. to get over there and see that. It looks fascinating. It's really entertaining. Yeah. And um, Janet um, Critchedon is her name, and she's from Mount Shasta, and she did this wonderful portrait girl with a pearl earring um, after Vermeer. She's going to be doing a, like a four by six foot um, painting. She hasn't told me what it's of yet, but it's a famous masterwork. So you get to see her technique and how she produces this forgery. Fun. All right, so 7 to 10, yes. Friday, November 4th. And if people want to find out more about the Pence in general, they go Absolutely. Where? Go to pencegallery.org. That's our website. Okay. And, again, for the Arts Alliance, because we're new and we're forming yeah. and we're trying to, to, to figure out a, a path forward, um, people want to get more information, they would contact you? Absolutely. You contact me through the Pence. Um, you can email me at pencearctdirector at sbcglobal.net, or you can call the Pence. Okay, and yeah. the phone number is? 530-758-3370, uh, and all are welcome. Great, we're all about the information here. We're wonderful and sharing it. <laughs> all right, well, I, I wanna thank you both for coming on and talking about what you do, and I, I think this piece that you're offering really adds to uh, downtown Davis's kind of destination as, as an, a place for art. I, I think, think we've so really too. changed a lot over the last couple of years, and it's pretty exciting, so. Absolutely. Well, right. thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure. So I want to thank our viewers for tuning in. And again, um, this airs regularly on DCTV Channel 15, Comcast and Davis, Menu 99 on AT&T UVerse. And uh, we'll share it on our social media. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at DMA Feed, F-E-E-D. And thanks so much for tuning in. This is Autumn Levy, Renault.